The traditional cider making starts with the picking of the apples. These apples are then left to mature for a week and are tipped into a scratcher, which crushes the apples. In the more modern cider processing plants, the apples are reduced to a pulp in a grater type mill made of stainless steel. The apple pulp is known as the pomace, or pommy for short. It must be crushed in a cider press to extract the juice. While there are several types of presses, the traditional type is a rack and cloth press, also known as a pack press. In this type of press, a sheet of hessian is placed across the bottom of a square frame above a trough. A layer of pomace, four to five inches deep, is poured onto the hessian. The hessian is then folded over the pomace, completely enclosing it. Another sheet of hessian is placed on top of the first one and the process is repeated until the layers fill the frame. The cider press is then racked down onto the layers and the juice runs into the trough. The pomace is pressed until it is solid and no more juice runs out. The press is then racked up the layers of pomace are broken up by hand and it is all repressed. Processing plants use mechanical hydraulically operated plate presses. The pressed pomace is either dried in hot air to 12% moisture and used in the manufacture of pectin, which is a solid extract from fruit, or sold as cattle feed. It can be fermented in one of two ways. Traditionally, the juice is run into a wooden pipe, a barrel with 120 gallon capacity, or into smaller wooden barrels. The bung of the barrel is removed. No yeast is added as traditional cider making relies on wild yeast. Fermentation starts within one to two days and continues for several weeks, during which time the barrel is topped up with more cider. When fermentation is complete, the bung is replaced and the cider is left to mature for five to six months. In high output commercial operations, the juice is treated with sulfur dioxide to inhibit natural wild yeast and is then fermented with added pure yeast cultures. After initial fermentation subsides, the cider is left until the yeast settles and then it is racked and or centrifuged and placed in storage tanks for between 12 to 18 months. The cider is then blended with new and old ciders to moderate any excessive changes and maintain a consistent flavour profile year on year.